What's your name, sir? My name's Dion. Dion, you uh, attended a party here at the Tower Bar and Grill last night, is that correct? Yes, I did. And can you give me a little bit of history? Who was throwing the party? What was the clientele? Um, the Alphas, the, what, the A5A, yeah. um, the Greek organization, threw a party here last night. Um, A5As are actually a black fraternity. From and, Bethune Cookman? From Bethune Cookman. Okay. And uh, it was it was a nice turnout. Actually, it was over capacity, actually, because they just ran just upstairs. Are you ready, girl? And it seemed like it was a, I mean, it was a little chaotic, but it wasn't, you know, anything crazy. Nobody was out here getting in fights or anything like that. Um, you also had an experience, apparently you guys did some business with the bank this yeah. past Thursday. Yes, it is. It's my understanding that uh, you and some other people were responsible for renting out the bank for a similar party. Right. Uh, for another Bethune-Cookman graduate. Yeah. And tell me, was that experience pleasant? Was it difficult? It was, it was a uh, misunderstanding all the way around because the person who rented it was a, uh, a white, middle-aged woman who rented it for us because she knew the, the owner. And um, I guess she thought the clientele would be white, not knowing that it was for a, uh, a college graduate from Bethune Cook. Do you think that Thursday night when a group of black college students showed up at the bank for the party. Do you think it caught the owners and the management off guard? Definitely, absolutely. I mean, as soon as we came in, I mean, when they saw the security and her, it was no big deal. But when me and my friend came in and the, uh, the graduate, uh, they started uh, to want to change all the rules of trying to shut us down early, said it was a verbal agreement and this and that. I, 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 they knew what we were going to be doing because once they saw the DJ and then they saw us, they knew that the type of party was going to be thrown wasn't going to be bite. Okay. Last night's party got interrupted by the fire marshal showing up. Uh, were you here when that took place? Yes, I was. Okay. I've asked you to go on video. We've been talking. I actually live across the street. Um, I happen to know that the police showed up simply because I noticed the blue and red lights uh, flickering in my window. So I looked out the window because I heard absolutely no disturbance from over here whatsoever. In fact, I didn't even hear the music playing. And I am literally right across the street. Um, but something's come to my attention, and it seems that... The student body of Bethune-Cookman and their money is not that welcomed on Main Street, or at least in some businesses. I mean, from what I saw last night and Thursday, I, I would have liked to agree with you. Now, the owners here at the Tower Bar and Grill, how did they treat the clientele last night? They treated us well. I mean, in fact, uh, we came in and opened up this bottom part for them and asked them if we could rent it out and, you know, make money with them. They agreed. Uh, Everything was going okay until the fire marshals kind of shut us down before we got in, anybody in. We got a few people in, and next thing you know, it was like six fire marshals in. Does it strike you as somewhat strange that six fire marshals would show up at a business on Main Street at 2 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Absolutely. Like, before 12 o'clock. I mean, uh, 2 o'clock, actually. It was like, what, 12.30? Yeah. I want to say about 12.30 they came, and what would a fire marshal be doing here? Right. You know, oh. Yeah. Who called the fire marshal? Right, like, why would they just be here? Like, why six <laughs> fire marshals would be here at 12 o'clock at night? Well, I asked you to do this interview because I've raised a question. Are the business owners on Main Street and Daytona Beach racist? And I think it's a valid question to ask, especially when a manager of another business down the street is standing outside of this particular business. Mm -hmm asking the business owner in front of a police officer what their uh, customer capacity is mm. and the fire marshal show up. Right. So my question is simple. Are the businesses on Main Street in Daytona Beach racist? It would seem to be that way. Yeah. It would seem to be that way. Definitely. Do you feel that what's taken place on Thursday and last night leaves a question that some of the businesses here on Main Street and Daytona Beach really do need to address? I think so, definitely. I mean, I would understand if we brought a bad element to, you know, 
the businesses and everything, and we, we brought around a bunch of people, and it was, you know, a whole bunch of things going on and fights and everything like that. But it was a nice crowd. It was an all-white party. Everybody was dressed nice, and even on Thursday we had a nice turnout. I mean, no disturbances. Nobody got in any trouble. No fights. No anything like that. It went smoothly. And last night went smoothly actually, except for it being over capacity. But we could have handled that because we opened the bottom part. So it was real, no real reason for anybody to be called or for it to be uh, any kind of discrepancies on, you know, at all. When you arrived last night, where did you park? Uh, on the side parking lot. Okay. Did you notice uh, tow trucks out here last night or anyone telling attendees that they needed to move their cars? Yes. And it was your understanding that the other businesses had already agreed to allow party participants here at the tower to park yes. in those respective lots? Yeah, they were out directing us in, yeah. Okay. Well, I think it's a valid question and I think the business owners of Main Street need to at least address it and answer it. Um, you know, I, I think anyone who understands the economy as the way it is, I don't think, well first of all, to deny anyone based on their race or their skin color you know, their facilities. I understand business owners reserve the right to refuse service to anyone, but you know, we do have laws that say you don't refuse anyone's service based on the color of their skin. And after witnessing the Crawfish Festival last weekend and videotaping it and photographing it and watching the diversity of the attendees, I just found it somewhat strange that less than a week later, we've got business owners that are basically trying to freeze out African-American uh, customers here on Main Street. They think it's wrong. Yeah, I, I believe so too. I mean, you actually have a black college here in the, in the city. Like, it doesn't make any sense to not accept the money. Well, not, in, not only a black college, but a historical black university right. in Bethune-Cookman that has been a part of this community far longer than most of these businesses on Main Street. So. Uh, I thank you for your time. No problem.